welcome staff, students, parents, and honored guests to the Lambrick Park 2021 Virtual Remembrance Day Assembly. We'd like to take a moment to acknowledge and recognize the Esquimalt and Songhees nations. It's these Lekwungen territories where we meet. Today, we live, we learn, and we do our work. I would like to remind you that while you're watching from your classrooms, we ask for you to remain silent and to refrain from clapping after each of the performances in order to show respect for this occasion. Please rise if you are able for the singing of O Canada. You may be seated. Remembrance Day recognizes and honors those who have served our nation and given their lives in doing so. Today, we pause to show appreciation for the sacrifices made by our current and past military soldiers and their families. It's through tremendous hardship, effort, and commitment that thousands of military soldiers and their families have helped us benefit and be in the world we live in today. November 11th, 2021, marks the 103rd anniversary of the end of the First World War in 1918. And so this morning, we are going to reflect on this important historical event together. We will watch some student prepared work and also hear from members of the Canadian Armed Forces. We will end with a moment of silence in memory of those who have died and suffered in all the wars and armed conflicts through our history. Dear Ma, it's a few days after Christmas and I think things are starting to look up. I've been told I might get to go home soon. I sure hope that's true. Please send my love to the rest of the family and eat a piece of fruitcake for me. Thank you for the blanket. Everyone is jealous and it's the nicest gift anyone's got so far. Some of them didn't even get anything, not even socks. It's been a while since it's been this quiet. I haven't heard a gunshot in hours. Usually the gunshots blur together into one long noise, but tonight is quiet. I'm glad. I miss you though. My friends, my brothers have been relaxing. They're finally getting a break. Kyle is taking a nap and the rest of us are writing. I've also met a girl. She lives a ways away in the countryside. She brings me hope. Every time I see her, I feel human again. When this war is over, I want you to meet her. I know I already said it, but I miss you and the family so much. I'll be home soon, Ma. I promise. You don't need to worry about me anymore. With love, your son, Thomas.
I'd like to welcome this morning's keynote speaker, Chief Petty Officer First Class Andre Aubrey with the Royal Canadian Navy. Hi, my name is Andre Aubrey. Before I get started, I just want to tell you thank you for giving me this opportunity to present, tell you a little bit about who I am, what I do, and what Remembrance Day means to me. I'm married to an amazing woman, I have three children, 18 months, six, nine years old. I'm a Chief Petty Officer First Class in the Canadian Armed Forces. I've been serving for over 24 years in a regular force, full time. <laughs> and I've traveled all over the country, all over the world. I've been in Victoria for many years. Some of your parents might even uh, know who I am. I was in auto working at headquarters and various other positions, and right now I'm currently in Halifax. Separated from my family while my family is in Ottawa. That is a reality of serving in the military. Being away from my family, as it is for so many others that serve as well. So what do I do? I'm a part of the command team as coxswain of HMCS Ville de Quebec. That's the hat that's right there. It's actually where I currently am right now. I chose to present this in a unique manner, probably a little different than what you're used to. As a coxswain, part of the command team in, on Ville de Quebec, which is a frigate, one of our Canadian warships, it's essentially a floating city. And on this city, you have people that do everything. Name something, and we do it. Just add the component of the military dynamics, the weaponry, missiles, torpedoes, above, below, helicopters. I've completed multiple deployments, operations, missions, exercises, and traveled the world on a few ships. These medals that I got there, it's, uh, every one of them has a story, and everyone tells a story from the Order of Military Merit, Medal of Bravery. There's also the SWASM, which is the Afghanistan mission that I served in, Operation Karib, which is anti-terrorism in South America. I've done Canadian peacekeeping with the United Nations. I've also uh, unfortunately been a part of a genocide, East Timor, when that happened in the late 90s, early 2000. Canadian Force Decoration, recognized as well uh, with the Queen Diamond Jubilee. Everything is a story, and there are far more stories beyond that. Anybody that's in a uniform is able to tell you a certain story. I had a lot of fun. I've got to tell, I've got to, I just have to say that. Just, and many of my days are like that, based on what we accomplish and what we do. Just as much as they're filled with adversity and challenges. As I've said before, I've been away a lot. I personally died several times and unfortunately seen too many lose their lives from suicide, PTSD, active service, and a lot of people that still struggle today in various forms. I'm one of those people as well. Even though I am currently serving, make no mistake about it, I'm a veteran, just like those who served before me that have retired or have died during the Great Wars and all of the other types of operations and missions we've done from Korea to the Cold War, Yugoslavia, Bosnia, Rwanda, to our most recent one from Afghanistan, Middle East, anti-terrorism, peacekeeping. We are a presence everywhere we go and the role that we serve domestically and internationally cannot be understated. So what does Remembrance Day mean to me? It's a very real reminder of how the old and the new for those who have served the stories, the experiences and everybody has a story and an experience so some it's very simple some have experienced a lot some may have served a long time some served very little but have been impacted greatly so many have lost their lives so many are losing their lives right now. Every single person that's ever served in the Canadian Armed Forces 
there's an expectation. We sign a blank check, signed to the people in the country of Canada, to serve Canada before self, to respect the dignity of all people, to submit to all lawful authorities. I take that to heart. Let's hope we never have to endure another great war like World War I, World War II, or any of the other conflicts. We can't forget the sacrifice of those who came before me and those still serving for a brighter future. Within the forces and our future, which is people like you, for my kids and for their kids. I'll leave it at that. So thank you. Please take the time to remember those that surround you. Reflect on what it is that Remembrance Day means to you. You may not be able to relate to me. I hope that what I've shared has had just a little bit of an impact. Just a little bit. For you to think about. Cheers. Hey there, I'm Sailor First Class Lord. I've been in the military for 12 years, and I currently serve as a communications technician on board HMC of Winnipeg. Hello, my name is uh, Master Sailor Joffrey Ashcroft. Uh, originally, I'm from Oak Bank, Manitoba. I've been in for 17 uh, years uh, in the uh, engineering trade. Currently, my unit I'm serving on right now is HMCS Winnipeg, uh, deployed in the uh, uh, Asia Pacific. Hi, my name is Captain John Jacob, and I'm an Air Combat Systems Officer. I'm also a Tactical Coordinator on the CH-148 Cyclone Maritime Helicopter, and I'm currently deployed on the HMCS Winnipeg on Op Projection and Op Neon. 
I joined the military in July of 2012. Remembrance Day is our opportunity to stand in silent reflection of those who gave everything to espouse Canadian values well outside of our borders in the face of evil. And it extends far past World War I and II through Afghanistan right to the modern day, where I think about friends, colleagues, members in arms who continue to sacrifice not just their lives, but time with their families, physical hardships, and the stresses of our jobs through a strong belief of what it is they do for a living. To engage the, uh, the veterans that are still alive and uh, here to share their stories and their experiences. Well, Remembrance Day is important because we have to remember everything that we did in order to get to where we are now. You know, Canada is a free country and it takes a certain amount of effort to remain, to, to, to keep Canada as a free country. Death is real Someone's there and then they're not And it's not for singing about It's not for making into art When real death enters the house All poetry is dumb When I walk in With your name on it came And inside was a gift for our daughter You had ordered in secret And collapsed there on the front steps I wailed A backpack for when she goes to school A couple years from now You were thinking ahead to a future You must have known deep down Would not include you Though you clawed at the cliff You were sliding down Being swallowed into a silence That's bottomless and real It's dumb And I don't want to learn anything from this I love you
Please be seated. Thank you for participating in our virtual assembly this morning. I'd like to thank and acknowledge all the hard work put in by our staff and students in creating today's ceremony. Have a good day.